Hey guys, welcome back. I'm trying to figure out the lighting in this room. Um, we are going through some changes in our house. Uh, so right now, I'm not in my usual filming spot, which is my bathroom floor. <laughs> but I'm trying to figure out, I don't want to hold the camera the whole time. I think this side of my face is dark if I do it right here, but don't mind the bed over here. It's just, there's a lot going on. <laughs> so just bear with me. But I wanted to do a very short type of video, simple video. If you guys know or watch Jordan Page, um, I think she coined the term shelf cooking where you just use what you have at home. You don't have to go out to the store and get anything specific for your meal. You just use what you have, especially now in times where we don't really want to go to the grocery store uh, <laughs> or be around people. Um, so my fiance came up with this little recipe one night and we've been making it pretty much every single day for like three weeks now, maybe even more. Um, so I wanted to share it. It's super easy. It's delicious. Um, I guarantee you guys probably have this stuff sitting around. You can mix up the ingredients. You can add different stuff. You can take stuff away. You can change the protein. Um, but it's something that we're really enjoying and I wanted to share it with you guys. So let's just jump right into it. So we're going to be using garlic powder, this bruschetta seasoning, you can use Italian seasoning or whatever you like, um, salt and pepper, canned corn, canned diced tomatoes, shredded cheese of your choice, and we're using these cheddar brats. But like I said, you guys can substitute, we've done it with beef, really, really yummy. You could even do it with shrimp. I feel like that would be delicious. Um, you could do chicken, uh, you know, whatever your meat of choice. I don't know if it'd be good with fish. We haven't tried with fish yet, but um, <laughs> we like it the best with these like cheddar filled brats. So the first thing you're gonna do on low heat, you're gonna throw in the can of tomatoes and you're gonna throw in the entire can of the sweet corn. You're going to add the garlic powder and the bruschetta. And whatever seasoning you decide to add in, you're obviously going to add to taste. You're going to put in what you like, how much of it you like. You might want to do a ton of garlic powder. You might want to do any, you might want to do onion powder, you might want to do Cajun seasoning. This is just what we really enjoy and we like the taste that this has. So we've been using the same um, seasoning. We have tried it with carrots, steamed carrots was really, really good. Um, there was like a hickory, I want to say barbecue seasoning we tried it with. I personally didn't like it at all. Um, I feel like with peas, wasn't very good with peas. Would not recommend. Um, but yeah, just try it out, figure out what you like, what you have, just throw it in there. I'm calling this a chili because I don't know what else to call it, you know? I don't think it's a chili, <laughs> but it's not like, I don't, I don't know what else to call it. It's kind of like a chili, it has some of the ingredients, so I'm just going to call it chili-ish. I'm going to put chili in the, in the title and I'm sure I'll get yelled at for it, but this is our chili. Okay, all right, so next we're gonna do three of those brats. So you're gonna cut each one in half and then in half again, so you're gonna quarter them. And then you're gonna dice them into little bite-sized pieces. You can saute them like butter and garlic. We have done it that way to kind of like brown them a little bit. They're delicious. We just ended up throwing these ones in the pan. Keep in mind, if you're doing beef or chicken or anything that's raw, you wanna cook it separately. You wanna cook it through separately 
and then add it to the pan because it's not gonna cook through in the pan. Your ingredients are gonna be, be in the pan for about six, seven minutes, maybe. So make sure that if you're doing any type of raw meat, you cook it through, you know, on the side, and then you add it to your chili. Then you're gonna season to a little salt and pepper, and then you're gonna have it simmering on low to medium heat. Um, you wanna kind of uh, cook off that tomato sauce. If you like it a little bit more saucy, <laughs> Um, you don't have to cook it off, but we like it a little bit more, um, I don't want to say dry, it's not dry, but not as wet. Um, so we cook out most of the tomato sauce. We have done it once where we've actually put the ingredients in tomato soup. Also delicious. <laughs> See how this is just like throwing in shit that you have in your pantry. You can put it with soup. If you have like one of those Campbell's cream of mushroom, throw it in there. See what's up. So you do want to make sure you stir occasionally so you don't burn any of the meat. Um, like I said, it takes about five, six minutes. You're literally just warming everything up. Um, and then we just put it in a bowl. I would recommend trying it um, if you're not in the low carb, you know, looking for low carb. Um, try it with pasta. Try it with rice. Um, try it with uh, quinoa. You could try it with rice cauliflower to have more of a low carb option. Um, you could also put it, like eat it with like garlic bread. That would be delicious. Um, but we just literally put cheese on top of that and we mix it up and we just have like a whole ball of that and it's delicious. You could also put cheese in the pan and then cover it. That way the cheese melts over the pan, but because we save some and then once that cheese is melted, to me like it's not as good. When you save it and like reheat it, I like that cheese fresh on top. So we just separate it from the pan and then sprinkle some cheese on top and good to go. So we've been enjoying that for quite a number of days now, <laughs> but that's literally the recipe guys. I hope you like it. Um, I hope you're not going crazy. I feel like I'm going a little bit crazy. I feel like even this video is a little bit crazy, but we are trying to make the most of it. We're really enjoying our time together, um, but we're going a little stir crazy. So sometimes we'll go on drives. Um, last night we drove the strip and there's nobody out. So weird to see Las Vegas basically shut down um if you guys want to see some footage of that let me know i'll put something together for you but yeah we've been going on walks taking merle out he's around here somewhere taking him out on walks a lot so he's loving it um we've been cleaning a ton just really trying to stay away <laughs> from people and stay healthy oh if you guys want a bump date here had a follow-up doctor's appointment this morning um baby boy is growing big he is six pounds right now at 30 almost 33 weeks um so he's big <laughs> um which have to do with half of it is to do with the diabetes half of it is just genetically um he's a big baby I was also a big baby my brother was a big baby everybody was a big baby um so uh, we are going to have a C-section at 37 weeks, so I will technically be full term, but I will not be 40 weeks, so um, I'm guessing he'll probably be about 8 pounds. So he'll be born a little early, but be at the full term uh, weight. Sorry, I keep looking to the side. M my dog is making really weird noise. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys are staying safe out there, especially those of you who have to go to work and, you know, you're in the industry where... Uh, I think, you know, they say essential workers. I don't know if that's the correct term, but if you're out and you're, you know, in the hospitals, you're in the medical field, you're police, firemen, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I can't imagine how difficult it is at a time like this to be away from family and working kind of right in the middle of it, especially those of you who are in New York, you're kind of in the epicenter of everything. Um, so thank you. The rest of you, stay home, <laughs> stay safe, and leave me your comments down below. As always, let's have some conversations. We have nothing else going on. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next one.